Today in our 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Rhino Rack Batwing awning for the Pioneer platform rack. It's available for the passenger side under part number RR33200 or available for the driver's side under part number RR33100. The Batwing awning is a great on-the-go solution for any time you're going to be in direct sunlight for an extended period of time. It provides instant and easy shade, which is going to be perfect for tailgating, camping, really any time you're going to be in direct sunlight for a long time. It swings out 270 degrees around the passenger side and back of your vehicle, providing 118 square feet of shade. The poles are made out of aluminum and have a black powder coat finish to help resist rust and corrosion. The legs are telescoping, meaning we can set it to any height that we want. Once we have it tightened down and we want to leave, we can fold it up and store it at the height we want so that we don't have to readjust next time we want to use it. The T-Track channels on the back of our awning allow you to mount any lightweight accessories such as a shovel carrier or an axe holder. Because it mounts to the side of our Pioneer Rack, that leaves us with virtually all the space on top for any travel or cargo needs. The canvas is a ripstock polyester material which is UV, water, and mold resistant and it also provides SPF 50 UV protection. The integrated PVC cover helps protect your awning while it's in storage or while you're traveling down the road with it on your roof. Let's go ahead and show you how to set this up. We're gonna start in the back by undoing our PVC cover. Okay. Then we can come to the zipper and unzip it all the way. Once you have it unzipped all the way, just flip it over. Now we're gonna to come to this convenient storage pocket and pull out our stakes and guy wires. After that, just flip that pocket over on top of the cover. Now we can undo all of our hook and loop straps that are holding our awning up. When you undo your last strap, the cover will just fold out and just guide it all the way down. Now we're gonna grab our four poles and begin to swing them out. Once you have your awning completely swung out, locate the strap with this little loop in it. You're gonna take it and attach it to your pre-installed anchor point. Once you have it installed, just take your strap and tighten it up like so. Now we can go around and undo these hook and loop straps and fold down all of our legs. The legs are telescoping so you can set them to whatever height you desire. Now we can take our included pegs and begin to drive them into the ground to anchor down our legs. They go in at an angle on opposite sides. Once you have it as far down with your hand as you can, you can take a rubber mallet, a hammer, or just your foot to drive it in all the way. And then do the same thing for the other side. And then just repeat these steps for the other poles. If you're experiencing windy conditions, the awning does come with these orange guy wires. When they're installed, it's gonna help anchor down the awning to make sure it doesn't blow anywhere. The neon orange also helps you to see the wire so no one trips over it. Because we're not experiencing any windy conditions, we're gonna skip this step. If you're experiencing a rainy day, the guy wires can also double as a rain runoff source. All you have to do is hook this into the strap, and then once you pull down on the guy wire and anchor it into the ground, it's gonna form that runoff point so the rainwater doesn't sit on top of your awning. Now we're gonna go around on our legs and fasten up these hook and loop straps to help secure the awning. And you're just gonna repeat this for every leg. Once you've completed all those steps, you're ready to enjoy some shade. Now that I've gone over some of those features, let's show you how this installs. This is a very simple installation. You will want an extra set of hands to assist you with getting your Batwing on top of your Pioneer Rack. We have right here the brackets that are gonna slide into the T-Track on top of the Pioneer Rack. You wanna make sure the bolts are threaded just a little bit so that there's space for it to slide in there. You also wanna make sure that the bracket right here is parallel with the Batwing awning. If you want to use this product with your Vortex Aero crossbars, all you have to do is take out these bolts right here 
and turn your bracket vertically and put the bolts into these two holes. Right here's our anchor that's gonna go on the opposite side of where we place our awning. We'll get to that in a minute. Now with our extra set of hands, we're gonna to start to put our awning in place. You wanna set the first bracket into that T-slot and then just begin to slide it over. When you get to your next bracket, just set it inside the slot and then slide it over. Now with our 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna to begin to tighten down our bolts. We're gonna alternate every so often as to help it draw itself up. And come the other side. You don't wanna to go too tight, you just need to go until it's pretty snug and the lock nuts are flattened into place. And then just repeat this for the other side. Now just give it a quick shake, just make sure it's stable. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. Now we can install our anchor point. This is going to go at the rear of our vehicle on the opposite side of where we place our awning. So we'll slide these into the T-tracks. Once you have it all the way into the track right there, we can take our included tightening tool and tighten it down. Just get it snug on both sides. Then you're good to go. Once you've done all those steps, your awning is ready to use. And there you have it for the Rhino Rack Batwing awning for the Pioneer Roof Rack on our 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.